And now, Drew Hinesley with News Channel 12 Sports. Last Saturday night, this Maurice Kemp dunk blew the roof off of Menji's Coliseum, led to an ECU victory, and was the number one play on ESPN Sports Center's top place. Get ready for another run on ESPN tonight when you see what he did against Evansville. Pirates hosting the Purple Aces in the CollegeInsiders.com semis, and Menji's was packed. Coach Lebo said they had to turn folks away. Now that is March Madness. First Pirate possession, Paul knocks down the three. It was tight in the corners tonight inside. Miguel Paul, five, Evansville zero in the start of the game. Kemp, spinner in the lane. Pirates had 48 points in the paint. Paul, again, four, three, buckets, again, nylon. Paul had 19 on the game. Kemp, floaters good. Richmond for three, of course it's gonna drop. Kemp, the alley, Sampson, the oop. And here it is, folks. Space Cowboy, Maurice launches and delivers. But in my opinion, the next sequence is the best of the best. Kemp gets the block on defense. Sampson, the rebound, outlet. Paul, running the break, sees his man, floats it up, and we have liftoff again. Great stuff from all the Pirates tonight. Kemp right there. Sampson going to get an alley-oop of his own right here. He had a double-double on the night, and the Pirates blow the doors off the Purple Aces. ECU wins it 81-58. to After the game, the dunk debate began. Which dunk was better, that one <laughs> or Ryder? Um, I mean, personally, I like the one at Ryder better, but my teammates were telling me I got higher on this one. So really? I guess I'm going to have to look at the film. I'm not sure. Both were, both were, were great. It, it was uh, the crowd's reaction was my favorite part. Well, that was fun. That was the best we played maybe all year. Um, we played terrific tonight. We had uh, a lot of energy. Mm, I thought defensively we were alert. Did a great job. The Pirates will travel to the shores of the Great Salt Lake in Ogden, Utah to play Weber State on Tuesday night for the CIT Championship. The Pitt County Spring Baseball Tournament continued today up at North Pitt. It was finally shorts weather for the fans and on the field we saw some good D. Kinston, third baseman Sam McLawhorn with a strike to first to get the out. Then Washington's Dustin Moore drives in a run to get the Pam Pack on the board. But Kinston would answer a little later by putting balls in play and using their speed to score and they get the W 5-1. to one. Some other scores from North Pitt. High Riverside defeats Green Central 4-2. And appropriately, the Saints of Southern Wayne winners on this Easter weekend, 9-8. to D.H. Conley coach Jason Mills sporting a clean haircut and calling for the hit and run at just the right moment. The Vikings were taking on Sanderson High out of Raleigh at Guy Smith Stadium in Greenville. Conley able to get out of a 4-0 lead thanks to some wild throws from the Sanderson infield. The Vikings were able to withstand a late rally by Sanderson to get the 6-4 victory. North Lenore's Sammy West drives it deep to left field and a blunder by the Sanderson outfield allows West to reach safely. But the Hawks would repay that favor and then some by making several blunders of their own and allowing six Sanderson runs in the first couple of innings. 14 errors in total between the two sides. Sanderson gets the better of it in a sloppy one, 12 to 8. The first fan in attendance to see the Q's and Marquette for the record. President Obama had Indiana winning it all and Syracuse beat them on Thursday. And the Q's able to suffocate the Golden Eagles offense today with Jim Beheim's vaunted zone, zone defense. The Orange headed to Atlanta and the Final Four with a 55-39 victory. Three Missouri Valley schools playing today. ECU beat one in Evansville. Northern Iowa lost to Weber State. Would Wichita State suffer the same fate against the Buckeyes of Ohio State? Not if Malcolm Armstead can help it. Three gives the Shockers a four-point lead. Then Armstead again. He had 14, and the nine seed beats the two seed. Wichita State in the Final Four with a 70-66 win. They await the winner of the Louisville-Duke game. If Duke loses to Louisville tomorrow, I will get zero Final four teams right, while my wife will get three. Shows you who the expert is in my house. That's all for a busy Saturday of sports. A final look at your Easter Sunday forecast is next. You're watching News Channel 12 at 11.